my, with my ex, I may or may not have this friend. <laughs> but, but, he f- my friend first. I've never been in love before. Have these I can't afford. What I'm really looking for. Can you give me more and more? I've never been in love before. What's that? Y'all trying to draw all people. Where are you from? I'm Haiti from Sacramento, California. Okay, okay, that part. So, what's the craziest thing you did to get a nigga back? Uh, what do you mean get a nigga back, though? Like, yo, man, you feel me? Someone you was dealing with and you didn't, he done broke it off because he done did something crazy. Like, what's the craziest thing you did? Uh, do? I didn't, at this point, I wasn't even trying to get him back because I knew that it was over, but I felt like I needed to pull up and act. Cause I so, I'd say probably the craziest thing I did was. Somebody sent me a story of where the nigga was with the female and I, there was no tag, no location, no nothing. And out of the whole city of Sacramento, I figured out where they were just by the staircase in the, in the background of the apartment. So just by the staircase, just by the staircase within an hour, I knew exactly where they were. So I'd probably say that was the craziest thing. I pulled up, acted, I went to jail that night, all that. That'd probably be the craziest thing. How far are you driving to a sneaky link? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. For a sneaky link, I'm not driving farther than like 30 minutes. <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't that worth it. It's really not. Why? Because it's just dick. Mm. It's just dick. Like I have a rose right next to my bed. So 30 minutes or rose in 60 seconds. You know? You trying to work smarter, not harder. Smarter, not harder. It's just a nut. Okay, that part, that part. Just, just a in a thirty minutes max, no hour or nothing. No. Um, what's off limits in the bedroom? Um, spitting in my mouth is off limits. <laughs> Do please don't spit in my mouth. I just feel like mouths are the dirtiest places on a human's body. I think they say like a human's mouth is dirtier than a dog's mouth. So just please do not spit in my mouth, please. Especially if you a backwood rolling nigga and you don't brush your teeth before bed at that and you roll three blunts before bed or if you like a liquor type of nigga too like don't don't spit in my mouth yeah spit in my mouth is freaky as hell if you like spitting your mouth you freaky as hell because i would never do no yeah i don't like that at all that's not not on no just not uh what you say your fetish is i like my toe sucks <laughs> i don't think that i don't like people's toes but i like my toe sucks like Wrapped around your finger, like if you suck my toes. Why? I don't know. It just feels good to me, like hella good. Feel like a foot massage? Not even a foot massage. It feels like I don't know. I don't even know how to explain that feeling. It's a weird ass feeling, but it's euphoric to me. But like everybody doesn't feel that way. Like everybody doesn't feel that way. Cause I know some people that are like, you don't know, like don't some some females that are like, don't lick my feet, don't touch my feet. But I love. That. Okay, that part. How many times you got your feet sucked on? Oh, man. (laughs) Because, like, look. Because if in my relationships, my partners figure that out quickly. So I've had my toes sucked a plethora of times. Plethora. Plethora. (laughs) (laughs) Plethora. Word of the day. Big word of the day. (laughs) Plethora. That part. What's the craziest fetish you've done or heard? Mm, I haven't done any crazy fetishes just because I'm a scary ass I haven't done fetishes at all. Uh, I have, I guess. I guess I have. I've, like, stepped on somebody's face before, like, with my feet. Like, just stepped on his face. He liked that. Um, He liked that a lot. But other than that, I haven't done no crazy fetishes. But I think the the craziest fetish I've heard of is, like, golden showers. I think golden showers, or one time I heard, like, this girl... From the club, obviously, that I worked with, she was like that she had a regular who she his mouth. Yeah, like he would want in his mouth. And so like she would mouth, but she didn't want it to get everywhere. So she didn't like have to clean up anything after he didn't have to clean up. So she would just like put a little bag like over his face and like put a little hole where his mouth was, like rip a hole through the bag where his mouth was. And I guess just in the bag. That's what I yeah, that's what I was told. Would you ever do something like that? No, absolutely not. (laughs) That's repulsive. I don't know. Mm, For a good, good, good amount of money, maybe. But like... What's a good amount? 
Hmm. It'd have to be good. Like, uh, I'll do a couple thousand. I'm not gonna lie. I'll do that. I'll do that. Five k. I'll do it for like five k. Just to sh- in someone's mouth. Like, I. F- I don't know. It might take me a minute. Cause what if I get nervous? <laughs> What if I get nervous and I can't do it? I don't care. Like, people can laugh in the comments if they want to. I don't give a fuck. All get nervous in front of people. Like, <laughs> what if I get nervous and can't do it? Thanks. Um, what's the craziest thing you did for some money? Sex isn't the craziest thing I did for some money. I mean, like, there's a lot of people that have sex for money. So, what's the craziest thing I've done for some money? Um... The most outlandish sh- it was like, whoa, that was mania. I can't believe I did that. I don't really know. Um, I ain't really did no crazy ass no money. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, what's your opinion on f- first night? Okay. Thank God. Finally, Sony asked this question. My opinion on, f- on the first night. I think it's all fine and dandy if you've been like, having conversations with this person for a while. Like, if you've been talking to somebody over social media, y'all been flaring back and forth, you know, there's many ways to, like, meet somebody and have a conversation with somebody before an initial link-up. There's a lot of ways that can go down. You could, y'all could follow each other on Twitter, whatever the case may be, like, y'all could be having conversations in a different form, be FaceTiming, long-distance buddies, whatever the case may be. So then on that first link-up, maybe the chemistry was already there. So I feel like that's okay. If the chemistry was already there, you already know who this person is, their first and last name, their birthday, that their sexual history, that's cool. But uh, if you don't know who it is that you're getting in the bed with for real, I don't, I don't think that's cool. And I've actually myself like practiced that recently. Like no, none of that. Your body is your temple. It's too many STDs and all kinds of going around. I don't give a. It's like scissoring or what the f- is. I'm just been, I just been kind of cool. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, what makes a man sassy? Oh, please. What makes a man sassy? Um, I have to say what makes a man sassy is uh, his rebuttals. I feel like grown ass men don't need to rebuttal for everything. Like what is with the... Like, every time I say something, you got something to say back right after. Like, I know that women, like, women are the ones that are always supposed to be like, okay, like, you know what I mean? We're supposed to be the ones that's always have an attitude, always got something to say. I don't know when men just became so argumentative and so confrontational about everything. I I think it's okay for men to have feelings, but, like, know when to cut that short. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to be the leader, so... If you gonna continue on with the argument, when the when's the argument ever gonna stop? I'm gonna be a woman. Women react like women react. Like we can't do nothing about that. But when you acting like me, like twin, what are we doing? <laughs> like what are we doing, twin? Come on. Like I don't. It's a sassy man apocalypse, and it's gonna be a lot of sassy men in the comments talking about my responses. But I don't give a. Y'all be sassy if y'all want to, queen. <laughs> How much does a man got to make to be with you? That's an iffy question. I don't know. Um, I ain't never really asked a man how much he makes, believe it or not. Mm. I've never asked a man how much he makes. It kind of just all got to be like, there i just gotta see that you have your shit together for real like do you have a spot do you have a car do you have a career or something that you're working towards like it more so for me it's more so about potential and things that you're working towards and if you're goal oriented then like what you make in a year but if anything just make sure that you can maintain the life that you have like more than anything but i'm not taking no thirty thousand a year or nothing like that either so there's that. Okay, that part. Uh, how you feel about 50 50? Mm, I don't really fuck with 50 50. 
I don't really fuck with 50-50 at all, but I can't say much about that because in my last relationship, I paid all the bills. So I don't know. Right, I don't know. You don't know. know, but you was paying bills. I was like, okay, because here's the thing. Like, I feel like if you really fuck with somebody, like if you really give a fuck about somebody, hold them down through their like, struggles, through their worst times or whatever. I know that he would have done the same for me in my lowest times and has. He has. So you feel me? That's what made me want to stay around when he was going through whatever the fuck he was going through. Because initially when I came around him or when we got together... I was the one going through a rough time. And, you know, I had to stay with him for a couple of weeks or whatever the case may be. And so when it when the, you know, tables turned, I was there for him. So it's like, I don't know. It kind of just depends on the situation. I think going into a relationship, though, like moving in with the man, he should definitely take care of the bills. But if he ever needs something, that the woman should be able to be there. Because, I mean, if you're not paying bills, you should be stacking your money for when for that, for a rainy day. That part. What's a secret you never told your ex? Which ex? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> let me think. I, I'm hella transparent with my exes. Um, uh, now, a secret I never told my ex. Give me, give me, give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Give me like some hints. Something that they would never suspect that you did, maybe, or so maybe a secret you hid, or. A feeling that you had that you didn't share or a story. Just the craziest, you feel me? I don't even secret. I have that some you, crazy ass shit, but I can't even I can't even well, put what's that. What's one that you could what's one that you could tell that you could share with everybody? <laughs> That's not too crazy, but kinda of crazy. No, it really don't even gotta be crazy, just a secret. Well God damn. Something that's shareable. That's shareable. That you wouldn't mind a million people to do. You know, we know right, to touch a million. Right, a million people that I wouldn't mind a million people to know about. Uh, that wouldn't make me look like a terrible fucking person. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, you know what? I really feel like this shouldn't be that bad. And it, 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 it is going to get a lot of bad comments. It's going to get a lot of bad comments, but I don't care. I, my, with my ex, I may or may not have fucked his friend. <laughs> but, but he fucked my friend first. So it was a lick back? <laughs> it was, it was, yes, yes, it was a lick. It was a lick back. That's what it was. And I don't regret it. I felt, I felt, the only reason I feel bad about it though is because he doesn't know, he still to this day doesn't know that this happened. And he like would continue on being friends with this person for a while. And like, yeah, I don't know. This specific person, it kind of, it would, it would, yeah, that was kind of, crazy but he literally i was in bed and he fucked my friend like while you was in the bed why somewhere else but like while i was in bed at home yeah and then i woke up in the middle of the night realized he wasn't in the bed was blowing up his phone and (laughs) then i found out it all came out later i didn't find out till hella later but yeah so no i I don't really feel bad for fucking his friend i fucked his friend i don't think it was a very ladylike thing to do because i don't think i think if you care about somebody you shouldn't go get your lick back but if you don't give a fuck and it's just like whatever, then fuck it, get your look back. But that was somebody that I cared about, so I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> What's some red flag in some Sacramento men? A uh, red flag in Sacramento men. God, there's a lot of those. Um, <laughs> if he shops at Best Fitted, red flag. Have you ever seen those Best Fitted videos? The videos where they freestyling? Yes. Oh, I've never seen the freestyle. Oh, actually, I think I have seen the freestyle videos. My ankle monitor is itching. <laughs> um, um, yeah, if he wears best fitted X, um, if he. I don't know. There's just a lot of red flags in men in Sacramento. I don't really. I don't. I don't really. Can't, I can't really name any specific ones, but. I don't really fuck with just 
ghetto shit. Like, I don't like ghetto shit. I like well put together niggas. So if you not don't look well put together and you happen to so live in Sacramento, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like that at all. Please look put together. Because I feel like one thing about like that Sacramento needs to work on is just like presentation and like looking presentable. Because I feel like a lot of other cities around us just is always a key, 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 key in that Sacramento. And it's just like, it'd be a reason for that. It'd be a reason for that. I don't mean to be just hate on my own city or nothing. It's all love. But it, it, a lot of people need to learn how to put that shit on. <laughs> it be looking crazy outside sometimes. It be looking crazy. That poor. Um, what's something that you never told your mama? <sighs> something I never told my mom. This is easy because I ain't told my mom a lot of shit. Something I ain't never told my mama was that I snuck boys into the house like nobody's motherfucking business when I was growing up. <laughs> I would have sleepovers with my homegirls. Me and my homegirls would have kickbacks with whatever little boys that was at the schoolhouse or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it my it was crazy because my parents' room was across the hall and they just never found out. Or if they did, they just didn't care to stress themselves out with it because, yeah, there was so many times that happened. So many summers in a row. I'd probably say from like freshman year all the way through senior year, like we were sneaking boys in. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. I was fast. Don't <laughs> recommend um what's your advice on how to keep a man uh my advice on how to keep a man is being somewhat submissive i do think that you shouldn't just bow down to a nigga um but submission don't hurt getting up and cooking for him only i feel only if he's a provider though if and only if he's a provider if he's somebody that's getting up going to work handling business and being a provider doesn't just mean paying the bills but like acts of service like providing for you doing bringing home flowers or doing simple things that make you feel good that you can't get from nobody but him things like that so you don't have to go look for it anywhere else um I feel like that's okay it's okay to be submissive and get up and cook dinner for a nigga do a nigga's laundry and get hygiene for his hygiene for him make sure all that shit's handled so that he can go out into the world and be a great man I don't think that's too much to ask but only if you're Pouring that same love into me so that I can be a great woman to you. That part. What's your worst sex experience? Mm. Worst sex experience. Uh, I need another example for this. Like, what would be? What would something like some a time where you was embarrassed or a time where you was just like, wow, can't believe this happened. Like a shocking moment that you was like, never again. Never again. I don't know what that was, but never again. Oh, um, I it wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too crazy of a story, but I'd probably say like with one specific dude, like I had anticipated he was hella fine. I had anticipated like fucking with him and fucking him for hella long. Mm-hmm. And then when I linked with him, not only was it little, but his it's he smelled like pee, like his private part smelled like pee. What? Yes, his private part smelled like pee. I I can't honestly say that that was like a time that I had sex that I was like never again. But that was a time that I almost had sex, mm. and I was like never again because after that I was just like I can't do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, money or love? Hmm. Now, why would you ask me that? <laughs> why would you ask me that? Just be um, honest. Just because I already have my son, money. I have a kid already. So, money. Why do you feel like that? Um, I would rather have like a lifetime of stability than love. I feel like I've been in love before and... I let, I've let love hold me back from things. I've let love hold me back from goals. I've let love knock, like I was saying earlier, knock me off my pivot. So I just feel like money because you're tunnel vision. From my experience, when I was making money, like, well, I'm always making money, but like when you're consistently working and like consistently focused on money, you're just tunnel vision. You don't even see anything else. So yeah, money. That part, you got any last thoughts you want to leave off with the people watching? Um, always be kind, 
never judge because you never know one day it could be you. And that's it. That part, make sure you like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe. Never been in love before. Half these girls I can't afford. What I'm really looking for. Can you give me more and more? I've never been in love before. Half these girls I can't afford.